A uh, lot to discuss with my next guest, Democratic Congresswoman uh, Stacey Plaskett of the U.S. Virgin Islands. She joins us now. Uh, Congresswoman, I mean, the, the White House, the Biden campaign, uh, they like what they saw last night. Obviously, they, they feel like the president may have righted the ship a little bit, but we do have 17 congressional Democrats coming out calling for him to step aside. The ranking Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, uh, Committee Jim Himes, uh, has come out and said that the president should step aside. Your thoughts on uh, the president's performance uh, last night. What do you think? Do you think he has managed to, to live to fight another day? Well, I think what we saw last night was the Joe Biden that many of us see, which is an individual who can answer complex questions. Uh, you showed the gaffes. But there were real substantive questions that the president answered in a manner that Trump could never answer. He could never speak with that complexity, and he could never speak with that truthfulness. And while you are showing the defections that are occurring within the Democratic Party, remember, there are over 200 Democrats in Congress. And people are asking what's happening with the Congressional Black Caucus. Why does the Congressional Black Caucus support the president? And I can yeah. tell you why they've been supporting the president and why we continue so to support President Biden. It's because he has delivered on the promises that he said he was going to do. Uh, he is the person who has done for our communities, for communities that have been forgotten, the things that he said he was going to do whether yeah. it's reducing the wealth gap in black communities, um, giving $16 billion to HBCUs, uh, increasing health care to black Americans in ways that Trump is not. And that's the pivotal issue that the media yeah. is not talking about. Well, and I did want to ask you, uh, Congresswoman, you were an impeachment manager uh, mm -hmm. after Trump's actions surrounding January 6th. I mean, we were talking to you a whole lot back in those days. Yeah. Uh, you absolutely know the stakes in this upcoming election. You, you referenced the former president just a few moments ago. Do you believe you are taking a risk in sticking with President Biden when the polls show he does have a tough path to victory? Well, I don't think we're taking everything is a risk in life. Uh, being a political uh, individual is a risky game. You're putting yourself out for people. I think that we are with President Biden because he believes that he is up to the task. He's shown us that yesterday, and we know what the alternative is. Trump's Project 2025 is a detriment to all Americans, whether it's women related to their bodies, whether it's African Americans related to history, repealing of uh, health care, all of the things that are within Trump's Project 2025, uh, the fact that the president, in his four years in office, lied 30,000 times. And we see that that's accelerating. The first year, he had six lies a day. His last year in office, it was 30 lies today, a day. And then at the uh, debate, it was 30 lies in an hour, in a two-hour span. So we believe that Americans, when they see the issues, they see what's at hand, they're going to vote for the Democratic candidate. And right now, that is Joe Biden, and that is who we are going to be with. And I get that there's a lot of affection in the Democratic Party for the for the president. Uh, but uh, there are folks in the party who are asking, why not uh, Kamala Harris? Why not give the vice president a chance to be at the top of the ticket? Uh, you heard our data reporter, Harry Enton, showing a few moments ago that 77 percent of Democrats would be comfortable as the nominee. Uh, why not give the vice president a chance? Well, because right now our presidential nominee is Joseph R. Biden. And I have to say something about this. Um, black people are pragmatic. This constant notion of it's the affection we have for President Biden. I am worried about my future, the future of my five children, uh, the future of this country, and I need to be pragmatic. And I know that Joseph Biden and his administration have done the things that are necessary to make sure that there is a future for us all. And if that the Democrats then decide, because President Biden himself decides to step down, that we will rally behind Kamala Harris, I'm going to do that. But I have to say to those Democrats that are floating her name now, these many of them are the same people who were saying several months ago that Kamala should be removed from the ticket because she's a drag on President Biden. They need to buck up and do the work to make sure that Democrats pull all of us across the finish line in November. All right, Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett, uh, thanks very much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you.